If you got yourself an Elgato Face Cam 4K and you've been having trouble getting the best image out of it, there are two main reasons why that is happening and I'm gonna help you fix that right now. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Francisco, let's get right to it. So I need you to understand that Face Cam 4K is not your traditional webcam. And because it's not a traditional webcam, you cannot take a traditional approach into setting up this webcam because if you do that, which you probably have tried now, you're going to fail miserably. And then you're going to be frustrated thinking that you got yourself a busted product. For example, let me show you. This is my Canon R50. It's equipped with a 16 millimeter lens that has an aperture value of f over 2.8. And this is the Facecam 4K with an aperture value of f over 4.0. You would probably think that a lower aperture value means less light comes into the camera and that a higher aperture value means more light comes into the camera, but that is wrong. In fact, the opposite is true. Lower aperture values mean more light comes in, higher aperture value means less light comes in. So knowing that, what do you do? Well, for starters, you're gonna have to feed Facecam 4K a crap ton of light. Think of it as the webcam version of the Shure SM7B. The SM7B is a gain-hungry microphone. The Facecam 4K is a light-hungry webcam because it has a higher aperture value. What you're looking at right now is me running my Facecam 4K with two lights in front of me. I've got my Elgato ring light here to my right set at 30%, and I have a softbox light to my left and above me set to 15%. Those are pretty low brightness settings, right? That works when I have my camera set to 800 ISO and a smaller aperture value like you see here with my Canon R50, but when you have a camera with a higher aperture value, you have to complement it with something else. And that something else is ISO. And if you look at my camera hub settings here, which you're welcome to use for your camera, don't expect the same results because we all record in different environments, but at least foundationally, it should be able to help you out. But if you look down here at ISO, my ISO is at 2089. And that is extremely high. That is uncomfortably high. I typically only use 800 ISO when I am recording with my mirrorless cameras and other past webcams I've used in the past. Now, having such a high ISO value traditionally would introduce a lot of noise into your footage. So let me go down here and turn off noise reduction. Bam. You should be able to see the graininess in my footage right now, and it looks awful. I would never knowingly post something like this on YouTube except for now, because I have to do it in order to show you what we're working with and what we're working against, okay? So, Facecam 4K, not being a traditional webcam, requires you to use all of its bells and whistles. If you keep your lights at lower brightness, you're gonna have to crank up your ISO, and in doing so, you will introduce noise into your footage. All you need to do is go here to noise reduction and play around with it, try low. That does a fantastic job. Let's go to medium. That also does a fantastic job. And let's even try for high. I think high also does a fantastic job. As a matter of fact, I'll be very honest. I don't notice a difference between low, medium, or high. Maybe you do, but I don't. So for me, we're just gonna set it at medium just to be safe. But you know what? For craps and giggles, let's go ahead and crank up our lights because some of you may have to do that, right? So my ring light right now is set to 30% brightness. Let's go double. Let's go to 60%. Okay, that's very bright. It's practically blinding me, but we'll make do for now. And then my softbox over here is set to 15%. I'm gonna double that to 30. Obviously, this is way too bright, so we need to fix this, right? So the first thing I'm gonna do in Camera Hub in this scenario where I've cranked up my lights pretty high is I need to adjust my ISO down. Obviously, because with it being at 2089, I am getting blown out by the light. So we're just gonna go down all the way down until I feel like I am not being freaking washed out by my light. That's a little too low. That's 851. Let's go up to 1084, bam. 1084 ISO with my lights doubled in brightness as opposed to what they were at the beginning of the video. And I think we have practically the same result. Now, I had my noise reduction set to medium because I was using an excess of 2000 ISO, but now I'm only a little bit over 1000. So let's just drop this down to low and see what happens. Now I don't notice any sort of graininess at all. If you do, please let me know. I could be wrong, 
but I don't see anything at all. And, and you know, just to measure it all, I guess let's go to off. Okay, now that I have it turned off, I can definitely see some around my key light air. Uh, it's not as bad as it was when it was set to 2000, obviously, because now ISO is practically half of what it was. But you know what? I'll go ahead and set it back to low. That way I have no noise. So in this scenario, I've increased the brightness of my lights by one third. So my ring light was at 60% and one third of that is 20%. So it is now set to 80% brightness. And my softbox light was at 30% brightness. One third of that is 10. So we are now at 40% brightness. And once again, I am pretty much getting blown out by my own light. And that's because my ISO is a little too high. So let's bring that back down again. And let's see where we go. We're down to 767. I think, honestly, 716. I'm gonna stop at 716. I'm happy with what 716 is producing right now. And let's turn the noise reduction off. Ah, so I can still see a little bit around the key light air, but it's not as bad as it was because my ISO is lower yet again. So low on noise reduction should do the job. In this scenario, I have my ring light set to 46% brightness and my softbox is back down to 30% and my ISO is still at 716. Again, this looks a little too dark for my liking and it probably looks a little too dark for you. So let's crank that up just a little bit here. Let's go back to 1084. I think 1084 actually is a little bit too much. 977. I'm going to stop at 977. I'm happy with what this is producing. We're not going to do the noise reduction test because that's enough of that. It's still going to stay at low. And this is what we've got. The other thing that people will mention when it comes to setting the exposure for your camera is shutter speed. And the golden rule is that your shutter speed needs to be double the frame rate of your camera. And as you can tell right here, right now, Facecam 4K is recording at 1440p 60 FPS. That means that my shutter speed should actually be one over 120. And as you can tell, that darkened the image by quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to go back here and crank up my ISO again. And I think we're good right there. That's 1,698 for ISO. I don't feel like I notice any sort of graininess or noise in the background image, but let's turn it off just to double check. That's a lot. See, very noticeable because now as our ISO gets higher, we're introducing a whole lot more noise. Thankfully, noise reduction works as intended with the Camera Hub software and the Facecam 4K. So turning it down to low or turning it on to low does a great job. And just for, I guess, good measure, we're gonna go to medium and bam, there we go. You know what? I changed my mind. I cranked up my ring light to 58% to fill in a little more light on this side so it don't have that dramatic like half dark, half light look. I mean, I can appreciate how this looks, but I kind of like symmetry. So let's go back to 58% and here we go. This is an image that I am personally happy with. This might not be something you're happy with. You might not like how this looks, but from what I'm looking at on my preview in OBS, I think this looks just fine. And once again, these are my settings in Camera Hub software for my face cam 4K. You're welcome to use them. I would recommend using them as a foundation because if you use the same exact values that I have, you're not guaranteed to get the same exact results because you gotta keep in mind, we all record and stream in different environments and different lighting situations, okay? A couple of other tidbits here. Uh, be mindful of the distance between you and your light. The further away the light is from you, you're probably gonna have to crank up the brightness. The closer it is to you, you can probably get away with lower brightness. And don't be afraid to crank up your ISO and turn on noise reduction. I hope this was helpful. Just finagling these two settings primarily are going to make a massive difference in the quality that you can get out of Facecam 4K. Everything else, contrast, saturation, sharpness, your uh, white balance, et cetera, all that stuff you can mess around with, they will affect how your image looks, but I don't think they have as massive of an impact as ISO and your lights do. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that by the time you're done watching this and you've played around with your settings, that you're walking away happy. If I did help you out, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you found value in what I gave you today, just like the video and possibly share it. Until next time, be good to yourselves, be good to one another. Peace out.